Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion, a rather hot Castle of Confusion, on the 30th of June. We're looking at <sighs> Mr. Do's Castle. Yes, we're back with the homicidal, genocidal maniac known as Mr. Do. Yes, and this time he's got a big hammer instead of a snowball. He's really upgraded his weaponry, hasn't he? Um, so basically, the idea is to... Um, annihilate these, well, I guess they're supposed to be unicorns. In fact, I know they're unicorns because in the Eastern versions um, this was actually called Mr. Do and the Unicorns, which I thought was actually a separate game, but it's not. It's the same game. So that explains their rather unique look. Now, the um, the idea is basically to either clear the screen of monsters or get all the cherries or get the, and, you know, kind of the same as Mr. Do really, but in the, instead of a maze game, we've now gone to a platform game. Uh, you can see the keys there as well, so if you hit the keys, um, there's a gate at the top of the screen that will open once you've got all the keys. And you can go up there, get a bonus and blah blah. So hopefully we'll be able to go and show you that during this um, gameplay. Now you can uh, kill enemies uh, pretty much by smashing them through the floor and then having the blocks landing on them and such and such. If you just hit them and they just fall down a level, they don't die as you can see there. They replace the blocks in the floor. They're a bit clever really. So you can... Um, you can smash the blocks on top of them as they walk underneath as well, which is uh, clever, isn't it? So if we smash him there, he's dead. Death's it level over, so we're going to go on to the next stage. So it's kind of like that. That's that's ba the basic gameplay of Mr. Do's Castle. Um, now, originally, this wasn't actually going to be a Mr. Do game. It was actually going to be sort of like a Knights and Castles type deal. Um, but in the end, it, it got to, transferred to being a Mr. Do. So there you go. Um, and I'm, glad, I'm sort of glad they did. It's such a it's such a fun little game. It's a challenging game, and it'll have one ripping your hair out, um, I, I imagine. But then Mr. Do was kind of along the, those lines as well, where you'd get certain point, and then the game would just get, like, Mission Impossible. And now, if you do fall through the gaps there, you can annihilate the monsters, but you will also take yourself out in the process. He's more and more like Sabu than we thought, but there we go. That's a really obscure wrestling reference, by the way. Um, so, yeah, you can see the keys. I'm waiting for these guys to make an appearance, but they're, they're obviously not going to. You can make entire rows of these blocks fall as well. I'm just not quite sure how to do that. Um, but you can see at the top there, the door is open. We've got the shield ready to be used, um, which will give us a nice... Point. You can swing platforms too, as you probably just noticed there. The, uh, the green ladders can be pushed left and right so that's that's interesting so if you don't want the monsters to follow you immediately you can actually sort that out once you've hit your first key you can then sort out the next one you can see there but you don't stay on the ladder by the way when you swing across the ladder goes but you don't stay on it which is a bit of a shame but there you go the amount of unicorns is, is a bit ludicrous isn't it there's loads of them um i'm not sure what the death blocks do i haven't really noticed any to, oh yeah the um <laughs> The arcade stick is being <laughs> a little bit unpredictable. Um, so sometimes it, <laughs> it, it, it decides it wants to go the opposite direction. I'm pushing it, but never mind. I'm not sure if that's a design flaw or just my arcade stick going, sod off, it's too hot. Um, hope you guys are all dealing with the warm weather, by the way. It is ludicrously warm at the moment. And it's affecting my gameplay performance, I have to say. But never mind. I hope you're enjoying Mr. Do's Castle. It's a great little game, actually. It's a nice little sequel. I think there was Mr. Do's Wild Ride as well. Um, and they did have some home conversions as well. The original Mr. Do, at least. I'm not sure if Mr. Do's Castle got any home versions. Um, but uh, Mr. Do certainly did. So we'll have a look at those along the line. I was just interested to have another look at Mr. Do. Because he's such an adorable little character. Despite the fact he's a clown. Um, I mean, he would give it a run for his money, really. Um... Uh, these unicorns are pretty relentless, aren't they? But, uh, yeah, the idea is basically to clear the screen of monsters or cherries or whichever it comes first. So it's nice that you've got multiple options in, in how to actually finish the game. Or finish the levels, I should say, really. Let's go and collect the shield that's flashing away. Now you can say that they all turn into uh, letters now. Now don't be fooled. If you run into those, they'll still kill you. So the way you've got to try and do it is to um, absolutely just twat them with your hammer or drop something on top of them like that. And... Uh, 
it worked. But it's only limited time. They will turn back into these pesky unicorns, as you can see there. Now, I'm not sure who's actually looked at a unicorn before and thought, yeah, orange, maniacal. Yeah, that's a unicorn. No, I, I actually think not. Levels are nicely designed as well, by the way. Nice uh, nice and simple level design, so it does, it's not too taxing to get your way around the screen, which is always a good thing. Um, you've got to be very watchful of the unicorns. They do tend to sneak up on you. They are quite crafty in that respect. Um, but uh, yes, I like the level design quite a lot. It's, it's very, uh, very cool. And uh, the music and sound is great as well. I would say the controls are responsive. I don't know whether it's just me having a bad time of this today with this with the control stick being a bit of a bit of a, a nuisance but uh, didn't do it with Mr. Do so I'm imagining it might be just that the the controls are just slightly twitchy and I've just killed myself again by falling through the gaps. The other thing you'll probably notice is that Mr. Do can fall from extraordinary heights and not do himself any damage whatsoever. So damn there must be something good about being a clown. Maybe they actually do have go-go gadget legs. But never mind. The character Mr. Do is kind of cute. Doesn't look like a clown really in the game, does he? He just looks like someone wandering around in uh, in his pajamas, uh, like Wee Willy Winky. But never mind. So yes, clear the screen of cherries, monsters, whichever way you want to do it. The gameplay is all down to you, and I actually quite quite like the fact there's options. It's not just a, oh you've got to do this and you've got to do that, and this will clear the level and that. So you've got you've got multiple choice. Um, hopefully I'm going to show you how these blocks all fall down in a row. I'm not quite sure how to activate it though. I'm not sure if you have to hit the death block and then the rest will fall. Oh, God, they get faster. You see the, the speed of these the, these guys. Oh yeah, they, they will um, activate the platforms as well. So if you time your hits right, they will fall through. The blocks will fall on their heads and you will squash them in the same motion. Mr. Do is just such a card. But there you go. Now, I do believe there was actually another game after Mr. Do's Wild Ride as well. If there is, I'm going to have to do a Mr. Do series and maybe have to just, you know, do the arcade series first. Now, as we've done Mr. Do and we've now done Mr. Do's Cat... Hey! Not sure how that happened. I had two unicorns in a row just hiding behind each other at that point. Um, sorry, anyway, um, I'll do Mr. Do on the arcade first with all the sequels and stuff. As we've already done Mr. Do and Mr. Do's Castle, it remains for me to do Mr. Do's Wild Ride, and uh, if there's another arcade one, I will do that. And then we'll give it a rest for a bit and do some of the games on other systems, then I'll revisit Mr. Do on the home systems and we'll do it that way. That way we're not going to get all dude out, if that makes sense. So yeah, I don't want to I don't want to do a Mr. Do Burnout, because that'd be weird. Hey, there's a sequel name. Mr. Do's Burnout, where he gets into a car and then races the unicorns. Ah, that would be actually quite cool. Uh, now they're they're kind of stuck now. Once I push the ladder away, you can see there, um, I can now freely move around again, which is great. I say the sound's really cutesy again from the Mr. Do, the original Mr. Do game. The sound is really nice, very arcadey as you can imagine, which you hope it would be anyway, being in the arcades itself. So um, yeah, this Mr. Do, he's just such a cool little character. Really, really nice. Animations are quite cutesy. Colours are nice and bright. Do like that. It's very attractive to the younger player as well. I would say that it's probably a little frustrating in parts. So if you are a younger player, then please give it a go. But uh, don't be too worried if it gets a little bit too hard. You can see that it's very easy to uh, succumb to the unicorns. That's something I never thought I'd ever say. But... Um, We'll give it another go, and then we will call it a day there, folks. Uh, the heat out here is extraordinary for the UK. It's uh, it's about 29, 30 degrees today, something like that. There you go, whole platform disappeared. Um, so I've been having to sort of be a bit more cautious with the uh, studio being open and stuff like that. Uh, but hopefully I will be back on schedule next week, and I'll have maybe have to do later reviews than normal just to uh, beat the midday heat. So... Uh, I hope you're all keeping cool and having barbecues and whatnot. Uh, it's too hot for me personally. I don't. I don't do hot weather at all, and neither does Mr. Do. Mr. Do does not do hot weather. So there you go. Mr. Do is my kind of dude. Yeah. Enough of the uh, <laughs> enough of the do jokes. Um, but yeah, Mr. Do on the arcade. Mr. Do's Castle. It's great fun. Give it a go. Very different to the original Mr. Do. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the review. I'll be back soon. Have yourselves a great weekend, and I will catch you again, hopefully, on Monday. You take it easy, stay retro, and I'll catch you again soon.
Bye for now!